Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Day, Thursday, August 31st, 2023. Today we will recap the U.S. Open second round matches from yesterday. Look ahead to today. We'll do baseball, soccer, FIBA, WNBA, college football week one. How exciting is that? NFL corner and nickelback rankings, news and notes, and best bet. We'll start with tennis um, just to change things up today. Um, we'll go over the U.S. Open results from yesterday. Look ahead to today. We'll start with the men's. Um, 19, Taylor Fritz over Juan Pablo Varillas in three sets. 10 seed, Francis Siaf over Sebastian Offner in three sets. How about this? Zazen Zhang upsets five seed Casper Rudd in five sets. 21 seed Alejandro Davidovich Volkino over Juan Serendolo in three sets. Jacob Bensick over Tidawan Droguet in four sets. 14 seed Tommy Paul over Roman Safulin in five sets. Rinky Hishkata over Morton Fuskovic in three sets. Ben Shelton over Dominic Time in a walkover. 22 seed Adrian Manorino over Fabian Marozan in four sets. Jerry Vesely over 20 seed Francisco Cerdolo in five sets. Wait, I think we did that one already. Uh, two seed Novak Djokovic over Bernabe Zapata Morales in three sets. Benjamin Bonzi upsets 28 seed Chris Eubanks in four sets. Aslan Karastev over Roberto Cabrera Spena in four sets. 32 seed Laszlo Dejer over Hugo Gaston in three sets. Borna Gojo over Mackenzie McDonald in three sets. And Dominic Stricker upset 17 Stefano Sipias in five sets. All right, today at 11 o'clock, you have Jack Draper in 17 seed Hubert Hercaz. At 11 o'clock, um, Michael Amoa and John Isner. 12 seed Alexander Zverev and Daniel Altmaier. Lorenzo Sonego in 60, Janik Sinner. 12 o'clock, Andy Murray in 19, Grigor Dimitriov. 12 15, Matteo Berrettini and Arthur Rendernek. 1 o'clock, 30 seed, Tomas Echeverri and Stan Varinka. 1 30, um, Yibing Wu and Alex Demeanor, 13 seed. 60 seed, Cam Nori and Yu Hsu. Arthur Phils and Matteo Arnaldi at 1 45, 2 15. 23 seed Nicholas Jarry and Alex Michelson. Gail Moffels and 18 Andre Rublev. 330. Botic Van de Zanschulp and 26 seed Dan Evans. Um, 345 Felipe Alves and Sebastian Baez. 7 o'clock, 1 seed Carlos Alcaraz and Lloyd Harris. And 815, 3 seed Daniel Mavedev and Chris O'Connell. All right, women's from yesterday. Um. Caroline Wozniaski upsets 11 seed Petra Kvitovova in two sets. 20 seed Jelena Ostapenko over Alina Avension in three sets. Jennifer Brady upsets 24 seed Magda Lynette in three sets. 4 seed Alina Rybakina over Alja Tomicic in a walkover. Bernada Para over Zia Wong in three sets. Lin Zhu over 18 seed Victoria Azarenka in three sets. 30 seed Serana Sarista over Anna Kalinskaya in two sets. 1 seed Iga Swiatek over Daria Savell in two sets. 10 seed Carolina Muchova over Magdalena Fretch in two sets. Ziyu Wong over Sarah Sobrias Tormo in three sets. Anna Carolina Shmidlova over Rebecca Masarova in two sets. Six seed Coco Golf over Mira and Driva in two sets. Taylor Towson upsets 19 seed Beatrice Haddad Maya in two sets. Kaja Juvan over Lauren Davis in three sets. 15 seed Belinda Benchik over Yuriko Maizaki in two sets. And 32 seed Elise Mertens over Daniel Collins in three sets. All right, today, 11 o'clock, you have Peyton Stearns and Clara Tawson. 23 seed. Uh, 23 seed uh, Quinian Zhang and Kaya Kanepi. Yifan Wong and Katie Bolter. 12 15. 22 seed Ekaterina Alex Randova and Lazia Sarenko. Um, 14 seed Lumila Samsonova and Tamara Korpach. 
12.30, Eva Lies and Lucia Bronzetti. Um, 1 o'clock, Martina Trevisan and 19, Marketa Vondrasova. 25, C. Carolina Pliskova and Clara Burrell. Uh, Jody Barrage and 2 seed, Arena Sablenka. 2 o'clock, Yanina Wickwire and 17, seed, Madison Keys. 215, 26 seed, Alina Svitolina and Anastasia Pavlachikova. 3 o'clock, Petra Martic and 31 seed, Marie Buskova. 5 o'clock, 5 seed, Ons Jabor and Linda Naskova. 6 o'clock, Greet Minin and Satya Vakari. 7 o'clock, 13 seed, Derek Kasakina and Sophia Kennan. And 9 o'clock, Patricia Teague and 3 seed, Jessica Pagula. Okay, now move on to baseball. Um... We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to today's games. I assume ten- today's a little short because teams are traveling. Yanks over to Tigers 6-2. Angels over the Phillies 10-8. White Sox over to O's 10-5. Guardians over to Twins 5-2-10. and 10. Cards over to Padres 5-4. Brewers over to Cubs. I'm sorry, Cubs over to Brewers 3-2. Blue Jays over to Nats 7-zip. Um, Blue Jays over to the Nats. 7-0. Reds over the Giants, 4-1. Astros over the Red Sox, 7-4. Mariners over the A's, 5-4. Rays over the Marlins, 3-0 and 10. Mets over the Rangers, 6-5 and 10 on a walk-off hit by pitch. Um, As uh, DJ Sturt was hit, Jeff Gill scores. Mets walk off. Pirates over the Royals, 7-1. Braves over the Rockies, 7-3, so best bet one. And the Dodgers over the D-backs, 7-0. Only four games today. Four. One o'clock, Yankees-Tigers. Yankees going for the sweep. Clark Schmidt and Matt Manning. Um, I didn't even know that there was only four games today. Um... Yanks minus 134, Tigers plus 114, over under 8.5. Overs minus weight, unders minus 112. And now the over under just went to 8, and overs minus 118, unders minus 104. So somebody just probably bet on the under. Yanks minus 1.5 is plus 134, Tigers plus 1.5 is minus 162. Yankees went down to minus 116, the Tigers are now minus 102. So the Tigers were at plus money, so somebody just bet on the Tigers and the under. That's probably the move. I'm going to take the Tigers at minus 102 only because... um. The Yankees are still not good at baseball. And the reason why they've won a couple games in the series is because the Tigers are also not good at baseball. 7 o'clock, the Marlins at the Nationals. Braxton Garrett and Jonah Don. Um, Marlins minus 172. Nats plus 144 over under 8.5. Overs minus 114. Unders minus 106. Marlins minus 1.5 is even money. Nats plus 1.5 is minus 120. Um, That's a tough one, but I like the under. 9 o'clock. 30, Giants, Padres, TBD, Pedro Avila. Padres minus 30, Giants plus 110, over under 8.5. Overs minus 132, under receiving money. Giants plus 1.5 is minus 28. Padres minus 1.5 is plus 155. I'm taking the Giants plus 110, regardless of who pitches. I know Avila's been promising for San Diego, but the Giants have a lot to play for. 10 o'clock, Braves, Dodgers, Spencer Strider, and Lance Lynn. Braves minus 142, Dodgers plus 120, over under 9 or 8.5, minus 10 each way. Braves minus 1.5 is plus 114, Dodgers plus 1.5 is minus 137. When was the last time we saw the Dodgers as a home underdog? Well, here we are. The Dodgers are a home underdog. You never see that. I know Lance Lynn's terrible. That's why. And the Braves are really good. But I'm going to go with the over, only because um, it's trying to tell you something why the Dodgers are a home underdog. All right, now we'll move on to soccer. Um, we'll go over all the results from yesterday. Like, had anything notable going on today? We'll start with MLS. Um. Cincinnati over Atlanta, 2-1. Charlotte, Orlando, 1-1 draw. Miami, Nashville, 0-0 draw. New England over the Red Bulls, 1-0. NYCFC over CF Montreal, 2-0. 
Toronto over Philadelphia, 3-1. Seattle over Austin, 2-1. Vancouver over Chicago, 1-0. Houston over Columbus, 2-0. Minnesota over Colorado, 3-0. St. Louis over Dallas, 2-1. Portland over Salt Lake, 2-1. And the Galaxy over San Jose, 3-2. Wow, so like I was wrong on like every game. All right, so Europa League qualifying. Um, well, actually, we'll do that in a second. And then Conference League qualifying is going on, too, with both legs. But we have other results to get to. We have Carabao Cup. Um. Burnley over Nottingham Forest, 1-0. Lincoln City, Sheffield United, 0-0. They'll draw Lincoln advances 3-2 on penalties. Blackburn over Harrogate, 8-0. Chelsea over Wimbledon, 2-1. Everton over Doncaster, 2-1. Third round will be September 26th. So we have a while till we touch the uh, Carabao Cup. And let me just check if we had anything else. Yesterday. Oh, wait, we had a uh, Liga MX. Um, Toluca over Monterrey, 1 0. Outlaws over Carretero, 2 1. And Tigres over Santos, 3 2. Champions League qualifying, um, second leg, um, Antwerp over AEK, Athens, 2 1. Antwerp advances 3 1 on aggregate. FC, Copenhagen, and Raquel. Chastawa, 1-1 draw. Copenhagen advances 2-1 on aggregate. And PSV Eindhoven over the Rangers, 5-1. As PSV advances 7-3 on aggregate. USL Rio Grande and San Antonio, 0-0 draw. Vegas, New Mexico, 3-3 draw. Phoenix over Sacramento, 2-1. League 1, Richmond Central Valley, 3-3 draw. We really do not have time to do the bets for uh, Europa and Conference League, but um, we'll go over the, the games. 12 o'clock, um, FK Carabag and Olympija. Carabag leads 2-0 on aggregate. 1 o'clock, Sparta and Dynamo. Zaragev, Zaragev leaves 3-1 on aggregate. Sheriff and Kel Klosvik, they're tied on aggregate. Aris Limassol and Slovan Baraslava. Baraslava leads 2 on an aggregate. Um, Z Lunex and Slavia Pragu. Pragu leads 2 0 on aggregate. 2 o'clock, Ajax and Ludogorets. Ajax leads 4 1 on aggregate. Kukariki and Olympiakos. And Olympiakos leads 3 1 on aggregate. 2.30, FC Lugano and Union SG. Union SG leads 2-0 on aggregate. 2.45, Aberdeen and BK Hacken. They're tied on aggregate. And 3 o'clock, Zerjinski and Lask Lind. Lask leads 2-1 on aggregate. Conference League. Um, 12 o'clock. Bodo Glimt and Sepsi Osk, they're tied on aggregate. Um, HJK Helsinki and Farul Constanta. Constanta leads 2 1 on aggregate to uh, 1245. Brito Bollock Stuga. Brito Bollock leads 1 0 on aggregate. 1 o'clock. Apple and KAA Ghent. KAA Ghent leads 2 0 on aggregate. Um, FC Twenty and Fenerboss. Fenerboss leads five one on aggregate. SK Brand and AZ Alkmaar are tied on aggregate. Um, Victoria Pleasant and Tobol Costane. Pleasant leads two one on aggregate. One thirty Payok and Hearts. Payok leads two one on aggregate. Two o'clock Adana, Demerspor and Genk. Genk leads two one on aggregate. Bait and Balkani. Balkani leads four one on aggregate. Dnipro one and. Ternava, they're tied on aggregate. Bartiani and FC Astana. Astana leads 1 0 on aggregate. Ferenc Varos and Zalgiris Vilnius. Ferenc Varos leads 4 0 on aggregate. 
Seljay and Maccabi tell Aviv. Aviv leads 4 1 on aggregate. Bastikas and Dynamo Kaiv. Bestatikas leads 3 2 on aggregate. Fiorentina and Rapid Vienna. Vienna leads 1 0 on aggregate, 2 15. Rajeka and Lille. Lille leads 2 1 on aggregate, 2 30. Club Brugge and Osasuna. Brugge leads 2 1 on aggregate. Frankfurt and Levesky Sofia. They're tied on aggregate, 3 o'clock. FK. Partizan and North Jalan. North Jalan leads 5 0 in aggregate. Legia, well, yeah, Warsaw, and Miss Thailand, they're tied on aggregate. And Austin Villa and Hibernon. Austin Villa leads 5 0 on aggregate. Alrighty, now we'll move on to FIBA. Um. We'll go over the results from yesterday and this morning and look ahead to tomorrow. Um, Group F, Georgia over Venezuela, 70-59. Group B, Serbia over South Sudan, 115-83. Group C, U.S. over Jordan, 110-62. Group G, Brazil over Ivory Coast, 89-77. Group F, Slovenia over Cape Verde, 92-77. Group B, Puerto Rico over China, 107-89. Group C, Greece over New Zealand, 83-74. Group G, Spain over Iran, eighty-five sixty-five, and then this morning results from the seventeenth through thirty-second classification: Finland over Cape Verde, one hundred seventy-seven; China over Angola, seventy eighty-three seventy-six; Mexico over New Zealand, one hundred eight one hundred; Lebanon over Ivory Coast, ninety-four eighty-four; Japan over Venezuela, eighty-six seventy-seven; South Sudan over Philippines, eighty-seven sixty-eight; Egypt over Jordan, eighty-five sixty-nine. And then right now, France has a lead on Iran. All right, the second round begins very early tomorrow morning, 3.45 a.m. Italy and Serbia. Um, so, um, Serbia is giving 7.5, totals 170.5. Um, I'm going to lay to 7.5 with Serbia against Italy. They're just better. Um, four fifteen ESPN plus Georgia Germany. Um, Germany's giving fifteen and a half total, one sixty four and a half. Um, over. Four three AM ESPN two and plus Montenegro and US. US is giving a whopping twenty six and a half total, one eighty one half. I'll take the over. Five thirty AM ESPN plus Latvia and Spain. Spain's giving eleven and a half totals, one sixty seven half. I'm gonna say Latvia getting the points. I think they cover. Um. 7.45 ESPN plus Puerto Rico DR. Uh, DR giving 9.5, total 172.5. Um, I'm going to lay to 9.5 with DR. 7.55 ESPN plus Australia, Slovenia. Australia giving 5.5, total 177.5. So it's... Wow. It is really Luca against Josh Giddy. That is insane. Australia is giving the points. Um, this is very hard. Can't believe they ended up playing each other. Well, I projected them in Group K together, but um, so I am. Ooh, this is a hard one. I'm going to take Luca getting the points. I don't feel good about it. But I have... So at least I have the hedge opportunity. So it's like I have Luca for MVP and I have Australia to win it all. 825, you have Greece and Lithuania. Lithuania is giving 7.5 totals, 116.5. I'll take the over. 
9.15 ESPN Plus, Brazil, Canada. Canada's giving 19.5, totals 180.5. I'll take the over two. Canada is the second best team in this tournament other than U.S. So um, I think the spread's high, but I like the over a ton. All right, now I'll move on to the WNBA. Um, we'll go over the results. Or I'm just kidding. Um, we'll look ahead to tonight's slate. There weren't any games yesterday. Um, three games, 7 o'clock, prime video. Mercury Sun. The Sun are probably humongous favorites. 13 and a half. Totals 156 and a half. I like the over. The total's low. 10 o'clock on Prime Video. Mystics Aces. The Aces are giving 10 and a half. Totals 167 and a half. Give me the Mystics getting the points. The Mystics are a better team with Della Don back. They're not going to win outright, but I think they cover. And the last but not least, Storm Sparks. The Sparks are giving a whopping 6 and a half. Totals 159 and a half. Uh, I like the over. Um, I think that line is high. But maybe this is Vegas knows. So I'm going to take the over. All righty. College football. Week one. We have games tonight. We have 11. I'm excited. Alrighty, to kick things off, Elon Wake Forest. My projection is Elon ten and a half total, fifty six and a half, and I can't find it. Um, FanDuel, which sucks, because it just looks like it's the featured game, not any involving uh, FCS. So I'm going to see if um, uh, it's on... Wow, there's no line for this. There are no lines for any of the... Uh... Um... The FCS versus FBS games. Oh, that... That stinks. But all the ones that are out are the FBS against FBS. All right, Fox Sports 1 tonight, Kent State, UCF. I have projected UCF by 21, total 56 and 3 quarters, and it's 35 and a half and 54 and a half. Um, I give me the points. I know Kent State's going to be terrible, but that's a high line. And maybe they sneak in a backdoor cover and lose by 33. Um, Rhode Island, Georgia State. My line's Georgia State 17 and a half, total 59. And a fifth. St. Francis, PA, Western Michigan. I have St. Fran, PA, yes. Giving, yes. 13 and a half. Total 50 and a quarter. I, you know Western's going to be a favorite in that game. So bet on the St. Francis money line. 7.30, NC State, UConn. My projection is NC State by three. Total 44 and... Three fits and it's 14 and a half and 45 and a half. Give me UConn getting the wings. UConn last season was not terrible. I think NC State takes a step back this year. I'm taking UConn getting all the points. Love it. Eight o'clock, ESPN game of the night. Florida at number 14, Utah. Projection Utah by 15, total 58 and. 13 20. It's, it's four and a half and 43 and a half. Ooh, do I love Utah? Ooh, that is low. And 
And the total's low, too. Oh, my God. Um, I like the over more than I like Utah. I'm same game parlaying that one. Boy, do I love, love, love that. Um, next up, we have Nebraska, Minnesota, 8 o'clock on Fox. All right. Um, my projection is Minnesota by 18, total 45 and 17 20 And it's Minnesota by 7, total 42 and a half. I'm going to lay to 7 Minnesota. They're better than Nebraska. Um, and I think that that home crowd is going to be ruckus. Those fans are going to be loud. So give me Minnesota. Minus the seven. All right, now I'm going to do my um, NFL corner and nickel back rankings. Um, there is a lot on here because I included the nickel backs this year. So, 96 on the list. So, without further ado, here we go. 96, Dallas Flowers, Colts. 95, Darion Kendrick, Rams. 94, D. Delaney, Buccaneers. 93, Kayla Bevins, Vikings. 92, Marco Wilson, Cardinals. 91, Catrell Clark, Cardinals. 90, Trey Hawkins the third Giants. 89, Jacorian Bennett, Raiders. 88, Juju Brents, Colts. 87, Tyreek Stevenson, Bears. 86, Makai Blackman, Vikings. 85, Alante Taylor, Saints. 84, Demondre Lenoir, 49ers. 83, Kyler Gordon, Bears. 82, Benjamin St. Just, Commanders. 81, Trey Herndon, Jaguars. 80, Jeff Okuda, Falcons. 79, Paulson Adebo, Saints. 78, Jordan Lewis, Cowboys. 77, Jalen Watson, Chiefs. 76, Emmanuel Forbes Jr., Commanders. 75, Deontay Banks, Giants. 74, Kier Alam, Bills. 73, Chandon Sullivan, Steelers. 72, Cam Taylor, Britt, Bengals. 71, Roger McCreary, Titans. 70, Michael Jackson, Seahawks. 69, Devin Witherspoon, Seahawks. 68, Christian Gonzalez, Patriots. 67, Derek Stingley Jr., Texans. 66, um, Keyshawn Nixon, Packers. 65, Arthur Mollett, Ravens. 64, Dante Jackson, Panthers. 63, Levi Wallace, Steelers. 62, D. Alford, Falcons. 61, Cater. Kohu, Dolphins, 60. Steven Nelson, Texans, 59. Jeremy Chin, Panthers, 58. Byron Murphy Jr., Vikings, 57. Jalen Johnson, Bears, 56. Asante Samuel Jr., Chargers, 55. Kristen Fulton, Titans, 54. Damari Mathis, Broncos, 53. Yorakia Sim, Ravens, 52. Antonio Hamilton Sr., Cardinals, 51. Darius Williams, Jaguars, 50, Isaiah Oliver, 49ers, 49, Michael Carter II, Jets, 48, Michael Davis, Chargers, 47, Cam Sutton, Lions, 46, Carlton Davis III, Buccaneers, 45, Tyron Johnson, Bills, 44, Kobe Durant, Rams, 43, Tariq Woolen, Seahawks, 42, Greg Newsom II, Browns, 41, CJ Gardner, Johnson, Lions, 40, Kawan Williams, Broncos, 39, Martin Emerson Jr., Browns, 38, Tavir Thomas, Texans. 37, Emmanuel Mosley, Lions. 36, J.C. Horn, Panthers. 35, Avante Maddox, Eagles. 34, Marcus Peters, Raiders. 33, A.J. Terrell, Falcons. 32, Trent McDuffie, Chiefs. 31, Sean Murphy, Bunting, Titans. 30, Nate Hobbs, Raiders. 29, Trevon Diggs, Cowboys. 28, Mike Hilton, Bengals. 27, Kenny Moore II, Colts. 26, Rasul Douglas, Packers. 25, Jack Jones, Patriots. 24, Legereus Sneed, Chiefs. 23, Patrick Peterson, Steelers. 22, Adoree Jackson, Giants. 21, James Bradbury, Eagles. 20, Kendall Fuller, Commanders. 19, Jadobi Awuzi, Bengals. 18, Jamil Dean, Buccaneers. 17, Akella Witherspoon, Rams. 16, Tyson Campbell, Jaguars. 15, DJ Reed, Jets. 14, Marshawn Lattimore, Saints. 13, Denzel Ward, Browns. 12, Jonathan Jones, Patriots. 11, Marlon Humphrey, Ravens. 10, 
Trevavious White, Bills, 9. J.C. Jackson, Chargers, 8. Trevavious Ward, 49ers, 7. Darius Slay, Eagles, 6. Stephon Gilmore, Cowboys, 5. Xavier Howard, Dolphins, 4. Jair Alexander, Packers, 3. Jalen Ramsey, Dolphins, 2. Pat Sertain the second, Broncos, and number one, Sauce Gardner, New York Football Jets. Yes, a Jets player is number one in a um, player ranking list, and it's not Aaron Rodgers. It's Sauce Gardner. He is, in my opinion, the best corner coming into this season. He is the defensive rookie of the year, and he's going to go down as, I think, the second best defensive back in the history of the Jets behind Darrell Rivas. That's how highly I think of Sauce. Um, Sertain's amazing too. Um, I know people will say that the Broncos blew it by not um, trading that pick for Aaron Rodgers a couple years ago, and they had the chance to do it. But um, there's a world where Russell Wilson is competent again, and um, certain regardless though, is just a great player. Um, Ramsey's hurt and not expected back till December, but it's still Jalen Ramsey and he's an elite player. So I felt bad leaving him off. Jair Alexander's awesome. So is Xavier Howard. Stephon Gilmore's great. Darius Slay, like this position so deep. Like even somebody like Nate Hobbs at 30 is really good. Um, And then 9 and 10 is J.C. Jackson and Trevavious White. And even guys in the teens you could argue belong in the top 10, like Denzel Ward and Marshawn Lattimore. Marlon Humphreys, 11. Jonathan Jones with the Pats is 12. So this is a loaded position going into the season. And then tomorrow we will do safeties. Okay, now move on to the news and notes. We will start with um, a report that I don't remember if I brought it up on yesterday's. Or no, I did not bring it up on yesterday's show. The Colts made wild offers to the Dolphins during the Jonathan Taylor talks. As one report says that the Colts asked for Jalen Waddle. Are you serious? That GM is delusional. Jalen Waddle is way more valuable of a player than Jonathan Taylor. It's not even close. The Dolphins are probably laughing at their faces. I mean, the Colts GM, Chris Ballard, that's just malpractice. Like, you're not getting Jalen freaking Waddle in a trade for Jonathan Taylor. I mean, it was probably Ursay too, but Ursay's delusional. I think he's one of the worst owners in sports. Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning made him look like a good owner, and Andrew Locke when he they had him. And now they're just being delusional, trying to get a top 10 wide receiver in a trade for a running back who's good, but running backs are not useless in the NFL. They matter, but they don't matter as much as wide receivers. So that is just ridiculous. Really sad news in football uh, coming down right now. Gil Brandt passes away at the age of 91. He is an executive that helped build the Cowboys into America's team and created the NFL Scout Combine. That is very sad. Um... Gilbrand was a big part of NFL Network. Um, He was always on TV. Um, Thoughts and prayers go out to his family, um, the Cowboys, NFL Network. Just a very sad day in the NFL. Gilbrand certainly one of the best to ever do it. Um, Zay Flowers had the team rocking during his rookie performance as he raps Kodak Black. Joe Burrow returned to practice for the first time since the calf injury, and he posted a throwback picture of himself after returning to practice on Instagram. 
Brutal news for the Bears. Tevin Jenkins will miss the first four games due to a leg injury as he was put on P- on the IR. That's not good for the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields. Um, Jihad Ward um, gave his side of the story during the viral exchange with Aaron Rodgers during the preseason game last weekend. Um, also for, um, football, um, Adam Schefter just now, um, Minnesota and TJ Hawkinson are finalizing a new deal that'll make him one of the NFL's highest paid tight ends, according to Schefter and Jeremy Fowler. And Hawkinson has been a hold in during, reg- during training camp and now can gear up for the regular season against Tampa Bay in week one. So big news for the Vikings. They had to do it. They traded for him, and they now they get to sign him long-term. He's really good. And former Cardinals GM Steve Kime used burner phones as former coach Steve Wilkes reportedly testified he was given a burner phone to talk to Steve Kime during suspension. Yikes. Um, baseball, um, the White Sox promote Chris Getz to GM, um, we'll see how this works, um, I was one that did not want the, um, that, um, shouldn't think that, um, the White Sox should have promoted within, they've been a lousy team for a couple years now, and I get it, Rick Kahn did a nice job at the trade deadline this year, but, some of the other stuff has not worked out, and I would have just gone outside the organization if I were the White Sox. So um, that's just me, but I could be wrong there. Mets players want to keep Pete Alonso as at least a handful of players plan to meet with Steve Cohen to discuss extending Alonso. I don't blame the Mets players for doing that. Um, the Mets, I think, should extend Alonso. Um, if they trade him... Um, they're obviously going to be rebuilding, but the Mets can uh, go in either direction this offseason. And um, I understand why they'd keep Alonzo because he's the face of the franchise. And then if they trade him, I would get it too because then they would be heading into a rebuild. So um, we'll see what happens there. And good on the Mets players for uh, setting up this meeting. Um There are more Franco complaints that arise as prosecutors in the DR are looking into three allegations that Wanda Franco had relationships with underage girls. This is disgusting. Absolutely freaking disgusting. This kid should not play baseball anymore, at least in major leagues. And he's just an idiot. Um, So, Franco obviously is in big trouble here and he might get arrested for what we know he should be arrested and there's more to this this reminds me a lot of uh Deshaun Watson in a way except he's doing it with underage girls like come on Um, so yeah, we won't see Ronda Franco anymore, at least we hope not. Um, the Mets to call up Ronnie Moraccio on Friday, so that is exciting that the Mets are calling up uh, a prospect, and the Yankees are calling up Jason Dominguez and Austin Wells tomorrow against the Astros, so that is really exciting, um, as they are going with the youth movement and uh, doing probably what they should have done at the trade deadline, but uh, either nobody wanted their guys or they foolishly thought they were still in it because Aaron Judge came back from injury, and I tend to believe that that was the latter. And then the season got worse only from the trade deadline on with Judge back, as Judge is obviously not healthy. So I wonder if they're going to sit Judge for the rest of the year, the Yankees, if they're going to call up these guys... 
Um, I saw a friend of the show, Derek, claim or for uh, Estevan Floreal to be called up. Um, I disagree with him. He's been terrible as a major leaguer, but I understand where he's coming from. He's been hot in AAA, but his small sample size in the big leagues is terrible. And Estev- and um, Everson Pereira has only been up for a week, and um, I think it, it's not fair to say that he was rushed. Maybe if in a week from now, if he's hit, still hitting 120, then you could say he was rushed. But sometimes you just got to take time. I mean, you could argue the Yankees, people said the Yankees rushed Aaron Judge in 2016. But um, in reality, um, they probably did, but he got hurt. And then uh, he was amazing the next year, as we know. So we'll see how uh, Wells and uh, Dominguez do. The NHL uh, national TV schedule came out yesterday. Um, We will look at the schedule and do a show about it probably tomorrow night would be a good time for it, or maybe tomorrow morning. We will see, because if we do the NBA, we have to do the NHL, too. NBA referee Eric Lewis retires amid probe as he was under investigation by the league uh, regarding a social media activity. Um, So um, I think that was just an easy way out kind of thing. I think he was forced to retire. And then the NBA preseason schedule came out as it tips off October 5th with Mavs Wolves in Abu Dhabi. There were 92,000 fans at Nebraska's women's volleyball as it set the all-time attendance record for a women's sporting event. So that was pretty cool. Soccer news on um, Liverpool is in Gravenberg's talks as Bayern's discussing price for Gravenberg with Red. So um interesting there. Um Brighton loan bid for Ansu as um Ansu Fadi also subject to interest from Tottenham and Chelsea. But he ends up going to Brighton on a loan until June of 2024. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, I'm going to go with college football. It's the start of the season. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I have a couple where I can conceivably go. The nominees, UConn getting 14 half against NC State. As much as I love Utah laying the four and a half, I really, uh, my numbers say that the over is more value. And Minnesota minus the seven against Nebraska. Um, So for best bet, I'm going to go with over 43 and a half between Florida and Utah. It's a big game. Um, I think it's going to be a great game. So, I think there's going to be a lot of points. I think Utah could easily get in the 30s. And then, I think this screams like 33-13 or something like that. So, give me over 43.5 between um, Florida and Utah. For my best bet of the day. All right, so that's it for the show. I'll be back um, tomorrow recapping all the college football. Looking ahead to the big weekend coming up. We have U.S. Open. We have baseball, FIBA, WNBA, soccer. We'll do the safety rankings and a lot more. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.